accurately or as accurately as possible. Good thing I have the, the wireframe open. Duplicate it and make a smaller one. Just push it in a little bit so we can feel that the wheel is leading in. Let's make it white. Let's cut the part that's not visible. Okay, so just the silhouette of that looks okay. So now I'm going to fill it out with a more lit. Let's see. So this one is darker. Here's the shadow from the frame thing. And the other part kind of catches the light, I guess. Too much though. Wheels are difficult to paint. Let's uh, separate. Let's make the gap here where we could have like a hints of the chain or whatever they have the, the gears inside there. make it even let's, uh, let's see if it can make it bigger that gap the our, I don't know maybe it's catching too much light Let's go over to this one now. It's trying to keep the the two wheels the same in detail level for now before I move move on. I'm going to See, oh, I don't know. So, I'm not feeling that the hole in the front wheel is looking cool enough, so I want to fill it out. Maybe it doesn't make much sense, but maybe it'll look a bit more futuristic if I just put a cap <laughs> on that. Maybe resize it a little bit. But what it also does is catches some more of that light, so you see more clear that it and that there's a wheel in there. It's got kind of an angle where it almost disappears behind the motorcycle, so. So I know I already worked on the back wheel a lot, but I'm going to flip so that the side wall doesn't uh, lean in, so it kind of leans out more, just for that futuristic, tighter look. I don't know if it's actually futuristic, I'm just feeling my way. Uh, so I want the light to um, shine on top here, which makes this part 
shaded rather than the other way around. I think it looks a little bit more like I wanted to now, actually. Uh, might have to correct that later. But, yeah, fairly happy so I can move on to the next part here. Maybe. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, I want to. I want to interpret a reflection here, um, and of course, the motorcycle is leaning. Uh, so, if you think of the floor as a mirror, uh, the wheel will be leaning the other way. So, you can't simply just flip it upside down like this. That will look bad. So, you gotta put an angle to it. But. Uh, as you can see, the, the wheel is kind of deformed now. So I want to cut away that part and basically repaint what I think I see from the bottom. Because that's truly what's reflecting. There's the bottom side of that frame. If I would draw a line going towards the bottom or the, the floor, straight line, but the wheel itself is leaning, right? So that's the bottom of the floor, and that's the top of the wheel. The reflection top of the wheel will be about there. However, we have a slight, slightly leaning wheel, right? So we want to do the same angle in the reflection. So I'm just going to draw the same triangle I just made, same angle in the reflection. Just think about everything as a as a mirror. But of course, you go you could go nuts trying to repaint everything accurately. So. Just try and find the simplest way of, of uh, depicting this reflection without going nuts, because there's so much to think about. So, almost like painting scales on a dragon, you could paint all the scales, or you can just paint some of the scales to get a hint of scales. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just hinting the reflection. Luckily, I want to kind of smudge out because I don't want it to be a floor that is fully reflective. Uh, so when I smudge this out, uh, I'm going to get away with a lot of things. further away it is from where the surface meets, the blurrier it gets. That's what I'm trying to do here. I love me some smudge tool. Just make that uh, reflection disappear. A little bit so it's not taking over too much. Yeah, reflections is, is difficult. Uh, you gotta really uh, interpret a lot, <laughs> otherwise your brain will cook. I want to add some light that in the reflection looking up above the motorcycle, there could be a light popping the silhouette of, of the bike, which we would, would 